Ashes tattoo. Tattoo. The cremation and burial process. Ashes into tattoo. Cremation variations around the world. No doubt that the efficacy and importance of cremations around the world cannot be undermined. It tends to give people, the loved ones, families, and friends a chance to pay their last respect to the deceased. It should be noted that every society around the world today engage in the cremation process. The cremation process of people around the globe may vary in nature, but the most important thing is that there is always a gathering of mourners, loved ones, business associates, and many relatives. Also, the period of time spent in the cremating the dead depends on the geographical locations, the mode of conducts, their traditional beliefs, and the laid-down procedure of cremation. In some countries around the world, no more than a day is given between the loved one passing away and the cremation process, while other countries like some African societies can stay up to two to seven days conducting cremations. The flame cremation process Conventional cremation is the method of decreasing a body at extremely high temperatures, until there is only calcified bone fragments remaining. These are then reducing in size with a milling machine, till they resemble the consistency of sand, and then placed into what we generally call an urn. They are either given over to the family directly, or passed on to the funeral director, who will keep them, until the family is ready to receive the ashes. These ashes remains can be kept, covered, or dispersed. A funeral director once told us, that as a general rule of thumb, the weight that someone was born, is the approximate weight that the cremation ashes will be. The body is set up for the fire cremation process by evacuating pacemakers, prostheses, and silicone inserts. The body is then put into a compartment, or coffin, made out of combustible materials, for example, compressed wood, pine, or cardboard. The compartment is set in the incinerating chamber. It takes somewhere in the range of a few hours to decrease a normal grown-up to a small amount of ashes. At the point when the cremated remains are cooled, they are prepared with a ball mill, to reduce the uneven sizes of the remains, and form a more confirming sized particle, and then they are put in an urn. The crematorium at that point restores the loved one's ashes to the family, or the person acting on their behalf. You will not see any of this process, as it is private. You will pay your wishes, and either a curtain will come around the coffin to signify the end of the ceremony, or a button will be pressed, and the body will move into the back chamber of the building being thus in the correct area to start the cremation process. Traditional ground burial Despite the fact that they aren't very eco-friendly, ground burial is the most well-known and customary technique for the deceased, especially if previous generations are already interned in the same area. The body is set into a coffin, or casket, by the funeral director, and covered ordinarily six feet under in a religious burial ground. Frequently, tombstones are then set over the ground over the area of the body to express the name, and date of birth, and date of demise. This gives friends and family a spot to come, and pay their regards. This form of treatment of the deceased is still very predominant in global society. For a lot of people, the interment of an urn containing ashes, placing them in another loved one's vault, or grave, can be achieved by talking to the place that you want to intern the urn. The basic charge is 750 pounds for a grave digger to dig a small hole and for a vicar to say a loving prayer, whilst the urn is interned. Mummification. You normally know about embalmment with the authentic interment of ancient Egypt. In any case, in spite of the fact that it isn't as famous as some other forms of treatment of the deceased body of today, this sort of entombment has been modernized and is still in use in various countries today. This occurs by submerging the body in a tank of fluid so as to save the body, additionally be known as plastination, where the body is preserved. Cremation costs Cremation regularly costs 33% less of the expense of a conventional graveyard entombment. While the facts demonstrate that cost is a major factor for some families, cremation is also commonly requested by the deceased before passing. Dealing with the demise of a friend or family member is critical and there can be a small aspect of closure with a remembrance service held at a cremation. Uniting family and companions gives everybody the chance to share and pay their last respects to the deceased. In some parts of the world, people spend a lot of money on cremations. They go as far as using large parts of their life savings just to show or portray how well they loved and respected the deceased. The financial implications of cremation is kind of large in some part of the world.
For the most part, and especially in Western society, the costs of cremation range from £1,200 for a no-ceremony cremation, to an average of three to 5000 depending on casket choices etc. Conclusion On a final note, we should understand that it is as global society, which differs in their way of life, culture, traditions, and value systems, there are going to be natural standard variations in the treatment of the deceased. Cremation is based on common value, and believes the system of families or communities, where the deceased shared. With the above points, we believe you have gained some small insight on how the cremation and burial process is being carried out around the globe. The only similarity among the various countries is that every society or individuals tend to pay their last respect to the deceased or loved ones before the physical aspect of the deceased is gone forever. Finf out more at cremationinc.com. Thank <laughs> you.